Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's Son Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. <clears throat> it is well with you. Jesus love you and I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, we serve a God that clothes with glory. God does not clothe with shame. When God wants to clothe with shame, he clothes his enemy with shame. That is why the Bible says, let God arise and let his enemy scatter. You understand? God clothed himself with glory. Why he clothed his enemy with shame? Hear me very well. God is clothing your enemy with shame. Somebody hear me. You are going to be accomplished. I really don't know. As in when I when I, as I'm hearing this word in my spirit, I feel that something surprising is coming the way of somebody. You know, something surprising. Your accomplishment will become something that is surprising. Why will it be surprising? Because you are one of those that people thought can never make it in life. That is why I use the word. I really don't know because accomplishment should not be something that is surprising. Why will it not be surprising when it comes to you? And I hear it so strongly in my spirit because you were written off. Because they are like, oh, you can You are not... Like you are not qualified for the accomplishment, you know. That is why it will be like a surprise to so many people. Hallelujah. So when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, the Bible says they were like them that dreamt, right? And their mouth were filled with testimony. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. So when somebody is in captivity, there is always a chance that the enemy will think that that person can never live captivity but we serve a god that move anyone out from captivity and when god moves someone out from captivity he will clothe the person you know with glory he will clothe the person with glory the bible says whatsoever god does he do it perfectly i want to speak to somebody they may have looked at you like oh you cannot be accomplished you look at uh, marital status no accomplishment financial status no accomplishment ministry ministerial status no accomplishment education as in your god where am i even accomplished so such people community rule them out they are like ah these ones they are not a part of if anyone wants to contribute to community not these ones but god is the one that can pick anyone even when the person is not qualified when the person is down god will pick the person and god will qualify the person hallelujah so that is why I'm just gentle with this word so that you don't feel like, okay, was what was I not supposed to be accomplished? Yes, accomplishment is not supposed to be a surprise. It is something that God has already given to us. We just walk on the journey. But the truth is that in this journey, we are faced with difficulties because the accuser of the brethren it is always out trying to accuse us of what God is giving to us, of what God is blessing us with. Hallelujah. So your accomplishment will be a surprise because there are so many people who have written you off. But I'm here to tell you, child of God, when men say there is a casting down, the people of the Lord shall say there is a lifting up. You understand? When people say there is no way for you, God will make a way. When we are in our wilderness situation, there are so many people who think that the wilderness will swallow up. But God is a God that does not allow his own to die in the wilderness. Glory to Jesus. And that God will not allow you to die in the wilderness. And yet the word of the Lord so strongly, child of God, God is going to clothe you with glory. And the glory of God will push you into that divine accomplishment. And even those that have written you off, they will see that you are accomplished in life. I pray that you fulfill your goal on time. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.